This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office.
Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine.
decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, the flames and heat and stench of the place, it's 
smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Well, I must admit on a personal note that I, I, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off.
Elon systems active. Access denied. Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours reveal rapid deterioration of both physical and mental capacity, with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <clears throat> They'll be here soon. And then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> Steve? Patient unresponsive. Terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly... Medical Report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity and thought processes within normal range, paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. 
Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours reveal rapid deterioration of both physical and mental capacity, with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <clears throat> They'll be here soon. And then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> Steve? Patient unresponsive. Terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly... Medical report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity and thought processes within normal range, paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours reveal rapid deterioration of both physical and mental capacity, with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <clears throat> They'll be here soon. And then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> Steve? Patient unresponsive. Terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. <laughs> Medical report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. <coughs> Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity and thought processes within normal range, paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking.
systems deactivated. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about 
demons, pools of blood. It's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel. He's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able.
He went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip. He, he just went, and we couldn't stop him. When he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know what he was. It was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube the device that was discovered in the ruins into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And, and then, living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry. Ian McCormick. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Systems activated. Teleportation will commence in T-minus three, two, one.